Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm in front of my observation hive and I know I've had a lot of questions on how I actually perform maintenance on that. So today I'm going to show you how I actually remove this from the house and perform maintenance. I'm going to be removing a frame of babies because this hive is getting a little full so I'm going to make a split out of it. Um, I'm going to spin the microphone around real quick so I can show you guys where the queen's at right now. Alright so the queen is actually right here. Oh, she's a little hard to see but she's moving right there. She's checking uh, cells and uh, looking for an empty one and she must have found an empty one right there because she's going ahead and laying an egg now. Let's see if I can point her out without the flashlight. So she's right there. You can tell by her big thorax and now she's moving in this direction here. Uh, right there at the tip of my finger. You can tell how much uh, bigger, longer she is then the rest of the worker bees around her. They kind of form a circle around her as well. Um, they're her attendees. They're attending to whatever she needs, either food or to be cleaned. Um, she is about ready to lay an egg right now, pretty soon it looks like. But this is actually the frame that I want to remove and do the split with as well so I'm gonna have to try to scoot her off of this frame um, when I take it out to perform the split to keep her in this hive. You can tell the rest of the hive is getting pretty full. Some bees down here in the feeder. And lots of capped babies up here at the top. Okay, so we're just about ready to take the observation hive outside for some maintenance. Uh, the queen hasn't moved very much, she's right here. I like to find her before I take the hive out since it's a little bit easier to find her later on. You make sure that she stays in the hive when I take this frame back out to perform the split and I'll re-put a new frame in here. Um, so to take this hive out, all I'm gonna do is close off this bottom door and then I'm gonna pick this whole top part off and Jessica is going to put a towel over the hole so that more bees don't come in from outside. This kind of takes two people to do. I guess you could do it at night and probably get away with having one person since they're not as active. But uh, you got to be relatively quick as well as they're going to actively try coming in as well. If any get into the room, I make sure that I close the door and have the window ready to open up and let them go out the window. Uh, there's a few coming and going uh, you might be able to see out there right now. All right, let's go. Door shut. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. And I just set the hive over here on the bed temporarily until uh, Jessica's able to come help me carry it outside. Did one get out? No. Nope. None got out. I also like to wet the towel a little bit and keep some moisture in there. But um, there is some. Um, bees already underneath here trying to get inside. It's a little bit trickier to put the hive back on, but uh, I'll show you how I do that later. And see outside right now, you can see some of the bees coming and going out there right now. Well, actually they're all coming in right now and they'll just pile up outside in the tube until I bring the hive back in and open it back up. All right, we got the hive outside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the door uh, so we can get this frame out of here and uh, get the new one in and then get the hive back inside. To open it, just undo the latches. I usually take the hive tool, wedge it in here on the metal piece and lightly pry it until the top starts opening up. All right, looks like uh, opening up pretty good now. wedge a rock against the door so it doesn't um, swing back this way. 
And now we'll go ahead and find the queen. Here she is right here, heading up the frame. And this is actually the uh, frame that I want out of here to do this split. So I'm gonna gently coax her and see if she will move up to the next frame. Okay, now uh, Jessica's gonna keep an eye on her while I go ahead and remove this frame from the hive. Just to make sure that she does not come uh, back down and come back on this frame until I get it out of here. Looks like we're stuck to the frame beneath it right now. Alright, and that frame is now removed. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the five frame nook that I have stored over here. And now I'm going to go ahead and reinsert a new frame that is empty. Want to keep an eye on the uh, space between the front and the back to make sure it's even. If the B space is too wide, they'll start. Uh, making a little bit of wax in the glass kind of like you see over here right now this is gonna happen no matter what even if you have the correct bee space um, they don't always follow the rules they form pockets in here that they'll then carry over and uh, start building some wax in the glass but we'll keep that limited by um, maintaining the distance front to back as close as possible now this hive is all done split we're good to go ahead and shut the door back up and get this hive back inside now is also a good time to perform any other maintenance that you have. Uh, I just got done scraping around the outside to make a nice tight seal around the uh, door. Uh, looks like there was a little gap last time I opened it up, so I scraped all that propolis off, and now we should have a nice tight seal. Now you could also scrape any of this wax off the glass with a razor blade. It scrapes off really easy. All right, now we're going to go ahead and shut the door. Uh, just want to move the door really slowly as there's a lot of bees usually like to kind of get around the outsides and on the insides in here so just going to shut the door really slowly so that they have a chance to move out of the way or move on the outside if they're going to stay outside then they can go ahead and fly back towards the hive and enter the regular way Start shutting it from bottom to top. These bees will slowly work their way out of the gap that is around the door. Now the bees that are in this gap here, just gonna take the hive tool and just kind of usher them out of the gap so that they do not come and enter back into the hive. All right, there are no more bees back in the gap and there are none down here. Sometimes they like to sit down here in this feeder area. Um, gonna check and make sure there's no one underneath the boards here before we take it back inside. And then just do a quick sweep to get all of the debris that fell out of the hive off the bottom before we carry it back inside. Now we're going to go ahead and carry the hive back inside. Usually like to carry it and move it to an interim position first. Uh, in this case we're going to move it in the garage, do another quick sweep, make sure there's no bees on us or on the outside of the hive before we move it back into the house. All right, now the observation hive is in the garage. I'll show you guys where I moved the uh, frame to do the split. Moved it over here and just put it in the back of the gator in this five frame nook. 
We got the entrance uh, closed up right now. Just one bee down there. And then I will take this hive and move it back to the bee yard where the rest of them are. And in another week, month or so, I'll check it and make sure that they have a viable queen that's laying. Now we're gonna go ahead and move the observation hive back into the house and open up the entrance. All right, now we got the hive back in here. I'm just gonna let it sit on the bed for now. Jessica's gonna go ahead, remove the rubber band that we put around the towel to secure it there. And then we'll be ready to set the hive back on here and slide the towel out. I like to get the towel as close to the edge as possible so it's easier to uh, get it out of there. Sometimes when you put the hive back on, it likes to pinch the towel in there and makes it a little bit harder to get it out, but you have to hit the hole precisely or else the bees will start coming out and make their way into the room. Ready? All right. Okay, that's right where the hole is, so I'm gonna lift it up slightly. She pulled the towel out, and now the hive is resting back out on the center piece. There's a few bees that made it out, so I'm gonna open up the window and let them make their way right back out the window. So there goes that one, there's one more here. And that one made it out the window. So now they're all out. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the back door. We're gonna go ahead and open up the uh, entrance door closure. And now the bees from outside are able to come back inside here and you should start seeing them flood back in from the bottom here. Go ahead and turn the light on. Oh, here's one more bee. Go ahead and let him back out. And uh, let's take a look and see how many there are outside here waiting to come in. You can kind of see them down here at the entrance. The longer you uh, wait and perform maintenance outside, the longer it will, uh, the more they will pile up outside. Um, now you can see lots of them entering back in the hive. A lot of them are carrying pollen right now. And I'm just gonna do another quick inspection and make sure that the queen is still in the hive. And then this uh, split will be complete. Just gonna cover it back up with the sheet so that um, they don't put too much wax on the glass. I just have to find a nice uh, open area to place the uh, five frame nuck in the bee yard. This spot will do. And uh, when they outgrow this five frame nuck, I'll move them into a 10 frame deep hive. And then I might find them a different location in the bee yard here. So. There is the uh, split that we just did. You can see a few of the hives, a few of the bees uh, coming out a little bit. You should, uh, should keep the entrance as small as possible since it's a pretty small hive right now and we don't want them to be robbed um, by my other larger hives over here or my new hives that I got from packages right here or the four new splits that I just made today as well. I'll post the link below to that video of when I made these splits and show you guys how to make uh, some new beehives from some two frame splits. So right in here, I actually have four different hives that I made from four frames with eggs and larvae in them. All right, I got the hives all sealed up back behind me. You can see them right here. All the tops back on. Now they should be ready to go and uh, should be good for about two more weeks when I'll be back to check on them. Just do a quick check back in on how the observation hive's doing. You can see uh, there's a lot less bees than there was. Hardly any left out here anymore. Not too many down here, so. Uh, looks like they all went back inside, so they are looking pretty good.
Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.